Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to Sarojini Smart Learning. So for the last few episodes, you are learning different topics from the primary level to middle school level. So today also we are going to uh, take up a new topic and definitely you will enjoy it. So in this episode, we are going to do more on word problems. Okay, but in the last episode we have done with addition and subtraction. Now we are going to do with multiplication and division of word problems. Okay. Again, question: A milk can contains seven liter to one hundred and twenty-five ml of milk. There is a milk can in which we have milk. How much the quantity of the milk is? Seven liter to twenty-five milliliter. Now, how much milk will be there in twelve such cans? So, one can can hold. 7 liter 225 milliliters of milk. So 12 cans can hold how much? So whenever 1 became 12, that means the number of cans were increased. So number of quantity of the milk also will increase. When both are increasing, we have to do multiplication. This is the basic step you have to follow here. Is whenever we, do, we, we want to find out for more and more things, Multiply. If you want to for uh, if you want to do for lesser things, we have to do the division. So how we are going to do? Okay. So this is seven liters, two hundred and twenty-five milliliters, is multiplied by twelve times because there are twelve cans. There are twelve cans. Okay. Now if you know twelve table, you can do directly. Twelve times of five is sixty. Six and zero. Okay. 12 times of 2 is 24, 24 plus 6, 30, 3, 0. 12 times of 2 is 24, 24 plus 3, 27, 2 and 7. You can write it this way or you can write here itself. Okay, this comes under milliliter. Now 12 times of 7 is 84, this is liter. So here, if you find 2700 milliliter, mean 2000 is there, that means 2 liters is there. 2 liters 700 ml. So if you add these 2 liters to this one, what you get? 86 liters and 700 milliliter is the final answer. So here, when you use for one quantity and if you ask for more quantity, that is uh, that, that, that is also called in the unitary method. We, we do in multiplication process. Okay. So along with this, I'm going to do one more example. So here is one more example. Um, I wrote on the board. So a buffalo gives 12 liter, 500 milliliter of milk every day. So per day, it is giving 12.500 uh, liters of milk every day. And how much milk does she gives in February month? So first of all, in a month, we have 30 days, 31 days, sometimes 28 days and 29 days also. There are four types of months we have. So among them, is asking for February month. February month is nothing but 28 days. Only on the leap year, we get 29 days. One day will be extra in the leap year, which comes after every four years, right? So, 28 days will be there. So, here what is asking? So, the, uh, the buffalo gives milk in one day. How many? How much? 12 liter, 500 ml. Okay. Now, we are going to find out for 28 days. How much? Now, number of days will increase. The quantity of the milk also will increase. When it is increased with nothing but it is a multiplication. So, you can write this as 12,500, that is this is liters, this is milliliters, okay, is multiplied by 28. In the previous problem, I wrote liters and milliliters here itself, and you, I don't want you to get confused, okay, so, so make it separately, liters and milliliters, then you multiply with 28. Why we are multiplying with 28? Because it is given February month. In the February month, there are 28 days. So, 8 zeros are 0, 8 zeros are 0, 8 fives are 40, 4 and 4 and 0 here, 
So 8 2 is 16. 16 plus 4, 20, 2 0. 8 1 is 8 plus 2, 10. Okay? Give one plus already. We have covered the unit space. Now coming to this one. 2 0 is 0. 2 0 is 0. 2 5 is 10. 1 0. 2 2 is 4 plus 1 5. And 2 1 is 2. So it's coming. 0, 0, 0, 0, this is 5 and 3. That means we did not put in liters or milliliters. Now you can convert here. After before 3 digits, if you put a decimal, this is nothing but 350 liters of milk the buffalo can give in February month. So in this way, we can find out uh, in multiplication process. Okay, so we have to check how many to be multiplied number of days we have to plan it. So in that one, February has 28 days. So we are multiplying the given question with 28, and there is no milliliters is left here. So only 350 liters of milk is there. Okay, so I'll give one more question. Here is the question on the board. If you check in a hostel. 85 liter 875 milliliter of milk is equally distributed among five students in a month so that means the quantity uh what all the, the where it is five students so the quantity of milk distributed between five students in a month is this much the quantity is given now for each student how much quantity is going to get so for five students, if you write like this, for five students, you are getting 85 liter, 875 milliliter of milk. So each student is asking each how much each, each will get. That means one student. One student will get how much? This is the main question. Now your five students are becoming one so that means it is less number of students are becoming less means the quantity of milk uh, taking is also less. When we are doing a lesser problem, that is nothing but a division problem. Okay. So in this division, what, how we are going to write it? 85 liters, 875 milliliters is divided by 5. So instead of that, you can write 85.875 is divided by 5. Directly you can make it 5. Now division. 5 1 times 5. So you left with 3, bring down this 5. 5 7s are 35. 35 minus 35 is 0. Bring down the next number that is 8. 5 times, you are already this one. You can directly put decimal also, no, no problem. So 5 times of 1 is 5, 3 left. Then bring down this 7. 5 7s are 35. You left 2. And this is 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, that means each student will get 17 liters, 175 milliliters of milk in a month. Okay, if you want to check, this is called, you know that, this is divisor and this is quotient and this is a reminder. So, if you multiply these two, you definitely get this part only. So it is a simple division process, but the uh, twist is in the word problem. Whether it is an addition sum, it's a subtraction, or it's a multiplication, or it's a division. That is very important to analyze. So along with this, I'm going to give one more example. Here is a question on the board. A bottle contains two liters of soft drink. Whatever the product may be, it's a soft drink of two liters. And eight students has to share the drink equally. So there are eight students in, in that place where only two liters of soft drink is there. So find the share of each student. Yeah. So now two divided by eight is not possible. So what we can do is one liter means what? 1000 ml. You know that, that means two liters means 2000 milliliter. So these 2000 milliliters is divided equally between how many students? 8 students. That means 2000 is divided by 8 we must do. 
So if you take 2000 divided by 8, it's a division problem. So 8 2 is 16 minus this is 4 left. Bring down the 0 down. 8 5 is a 40. 0 0. Bring down the 0. And 8 0 is a 0. This is fine. And don't think that after coming this step. I think uh, everything is zero and no need to write. No, no, you must take it and do like this only. So now it is came in 250 ml. Okay. So here the question I read: two liters, that is 2,000 milliliters of soft drink is there. There are eight students. So for eight students, 2,000 uh, 2, uh, so milliliter of soft drink is there, and we have to find for one. So for one means always do the division. For more means always do the multiplication. Okay. So division by eight. So we are getting 250. That means each student will get 250 ml of soft drink in the party or whatever it may be. So I hope you understood these topics and you are watching each and every bit, each and every example. And hope you will do more and more examples to make yourself so comfortable and better than this, uh, uh, these exercises huh? and thank you for uh, all for watching have a nice day thank you very much